Hey guys, it's Dan back with another book review, and this time I'm reviewing Smashed by Junji Ito, and forgive me if I have pronounced the author's name incorrectly. I'm not really too familiar with this author. Um, I decided to check out this author because um, in the horror community and in other book communities on YouTube, I kept hearing people throwing out this guy's name and most um, most people were like, oh, you got to check out Uzumaki. Uzumaki is like the best book by him. So I read Uzumaki and I read and reviewed it uh, maybe a week or two ago and I just thought it was just okay. But... Um, I decided to, and I, I, there's a disclaimer before we go any farther, I'm not a manga reader. I don't usually read manga. So don't go recommending me any manga. I probably won't go check it out. But I only wanted to go check this out because it is horror. I am a fan of horror, so I felt like, yeah, I'm going to go check out everything this guy has out. Um, so... To be honest with you guys, I think that this collection of 13 Chilling Nightmares, as it says on the back cover, was a way better example of this guy's work than the Uzumaki. I really found the Uzumaki to be kind of boring and just not very interesting in comparison to this. Now, um... This collection of short stories I actually found to be kind of scary. There were different um, different scenarios going on in each one. And I will admit they were all kind of really creepy, which I really enjoyed. And I do have to say I'm not a fan of black and white. I do prefer to see some color in my comics, but, you know... Beautifully drawn, I will say that. This guy is, he's very good with what he draws. But I really found this to be the, the best book I have read. Out of the, um, I think I've read four of these now total. I just recently finished his take on Frankenstein, which is also very good. But um, the Frankenstein I rated three out of four, or three out of five stars. I thought the Frankenstein is worth checking out, although it felt like it was kind of rushed and kind of missing some parts. And I didn't appreciate the fact that the Frankenstein had uh, filler stories in the back, so like over half of the Frankenstein book was short stories. But if you're looking for like um, horror short stories that are manga, then go and check this out. Um, one, of, Yeah, this one story was about a haunted house. It was a traveling haunted house. I thought that was kind of creepy and interesting. And they um, revisit that character in later stories near the end. Which I found. And then there was one about the guy with the huge massive library. And yeah, some really interesting and I'd have to say unique stories. Um, if you're looking for a collection of unique interesting horror stories that are manga then definitely check this out i'm gonna say and this is only my opinion but for all of junji ito's work i'm gonna say the smashed is his best his best book that's out there i rated this four out of five stars on goodreads um it, the, the title smashed is like the last short story in the collection and it's about this, like, nectar that this guy travels all the way to South America to get. And for some reason, like, something, like, is randomly smashing people, like, flat like pancakes. And I won't say any more about it besides that. You have to check out this collection of short stories. Very, very entertaining. Very worthwhile picking up and checking out. I really enjoyed this. And I have to say this blew Uzumaki out of the water. I really, really love this. I, I, and like I said, I'm not a manga person. But I really enjoyed this. Um, of course, as always, for U.S. residents, I do have an Amazon link down below to pick up this book. Uh, for those of you outside the U.S., I have a book depository link. They offer free worldwide shipping. They offer the same great discounts as Amazon because they are a subsidy of Amazon. Um, I do get a very small percentage of all book sales, whether you buy these this specific book or something else. It helps me out because I'm not getting AdSense anymore. Uh, my channel's slowly starting to grow 
But if you came here looking for either horror or you came here looking for comics and graphic novel reviews, go ahead and hit the subscriber button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you're well aware when I upload a new video. That's all I got for you guys. Um, I'm thinking about doing some things in the future. <laughs> And I'm thinking about maybe doing some t-shirts, because I was thinking, I had some t-shirt ideas, if you guys would like to see me do some merch. I mean, I, I'm I'm not like 100% dead set on this, but I think it would be a fun little thing to do. But let me know what you think if you made it this far into the video. And also, stay tuned for later in this month, I will have some, pick, uh, some books I picked up for the month of, of December. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Till next time, later.